uh, today we're going to be working on lead code question number 85 uh, maximal rectangle and given our rows cross columns binary ma matrix uh, filled with zeros and ones find the largest rectangle containing only ones and return its area so in this case um, the blue portion is going to be the maximum area and we're going to be returning six yeah so that being said the way we're going to be <coughs> doing it is uh, there's going to be base condition that if the matrix dot length does not exist basically we get an empty matrix uh, in that case we're going to be returning zero then we're going to say that okay the uh, we have some constants here where rows total number of rows is going to be equal to the matrix dot length and then the constant is going to be equal to the matrix uh, zero dot length so that being said we're going to have another uh <coughs> other dynamic program because we're going to be trying to solve it using a dynamic programming so we're going to have another uh, matrix uh, which is going to be equal to dp and that is going to be equal to arrays uh, sorry array from so we're going to copy it uh, from the rows and we're going to fill it with zeros so in order to do that uh, we're going to say that okay the length is basically equal to the rows and we're going to be filling it <coughs> we're going to be filling it array and then columns and we're going to fill it with zero so and in we're going to also initialize our maximum area equals to zero then we're going to loop through the matrix so i'm going to say let i is equal to zero sorry uh yeah let i is equal to zero i is uh, less than the total number of rows i plus plus and let our j j is equal to 0 j is less than the column uh, j plus plus so now we want to know that uh, one thing we want to know is that if that uh, particular uh, row and column is like the first row if it is like a first row if the i is equal to uh, zero if that is the case uh, we're gonna say that the dp of i j uh, is basically equal to the matrix uh, of i j uh, depending on whether that value is equal to one if that value is equal to one we're gonna say it is equal to one otherwise it's gonna be equal to zero <coughs> so yes so basically the first row is going to be whatever we have the matrix and uh, value inside the matrix uh, first row we're going to be copying it over here else if it is not the first row we're going to say that the dp of i j is basically equal to the matrix of i j and then whether or not it is equal to one and then if it and if it is not equal to one we're gonna say it, it's gonna be equal to zero but if it is equal to one what we're gonna say is like the dp of the so basically we're gonna be taking the value one above it so i minus one and then j and plus one so yeah so 
that makes sense so far now we are gonna update our maximum area in order to do that uh, first we wanna calculate we are gonna say that let the mini one sec so one thing we wanna say is that let the minimum uh, height is equal to that uh, current instance like that dp of i and then j that's the minimum height we wanna uh, we are gonna be comparing that that's basically the height right now so we're gonna have a for loop here uh, where we're gonna have a pointer uh, which is gonna be co uh, starting from j and then our pointer is gonna be equal to or greater than or equal to zero and then pointer negative negative okay so if the minimum height is basically equal to zero right we don't have to do anything over there we we just want to come out of this loop if the minimum height becomes equal to zero we, we want to say that man let's just go, go out of here this uh, block we don't want to do anything but if it is not zero, we wanna we wanna recalculate our uh, so we we're, we're going to say that if the dp of i and this pointer uh, is basically less than the minimum height, in that case, uh, we're gonna say that the minimum height is equal to the dp of rho basically the i and the pointer if and then we're going to be calculating our maximum area which is equal to math dot max of the max area and the minimum height multiplied by j minus pointer plus one so basically we're calculating the area <coughs> uh, by basically multiplying the height the minimum height and uh, uh, and the the height and basically the width j minus pointer and in the end once we are out of this loop we're gonna be returning the max area And let's see if it passes all the test cases. And it did. 